All right, guys, it's me, Mrs. Thompson. I know that some of you are having some trouble connecting your work that you've done on your math assignments to Google Classroom. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this a lot easier for you, but you have to follow the steps in this video in order to get it to work. Now, you need to go into your Northeast Independent School District website at neisd.net. You need to go to your launch pad. I'm going to be using my daughter's account so that you can see how to do this. You're gonna to have to go into your Google and then Google Classroom. Now here, let me switch to her account real quick. There we go. You have all, you have all your classes that you're part of. You can see that she's part of my AP class and part of our regular math class. What you need to do now is you need to go up in this corner where it says apps and you must be in Google Chrome for this to work. So you have to be in Google Chrome for this to work. So you're going to go to apps and down here at the very bottom, it says web store, click web store. You're going to search the store for an extension called Kami, K-A-M-I. And it is this right here. You need to add this to Chrome. It's going to ask you, do you want to allow this? And you say, add extension. Just close this out. Okay, so now this is part of your Google Chrome web, browse, web browser. And close that. Switch back to my daughters. Okay, so now you're in your classes. When you go into any of these class, any of your classes that are through me, I know that we're having a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to put our work and answers on the paper. So here we go. Distance learning day one, click on the assignment. This is giving you all of your instructions, all of your resources that you need to use. I'm gonna click on the work that is assigned. Now, here you have the multiplication worksheet and you can see there's some scribbles on it because I was trying to test this out. I've been doing this all day guys for you to try and make this easier. When you look at this page, it should, if you installed Kami correctly, it should have this blue box up here with the K and say open with Kami. You click on that. Now guys, this is the cool part. So you can see right now there's a bunch of scribbles on there. I'm going to erase that because I did that earlier. Okay, so you see that you have a copy of the worksheet. It's going to say your name, and it's going to say the title of the assignment. When you go in here, there is a couple different things that you are now able to do. You can mark up, which means that you can highlight. Click and highlight anything that you need to. Underline. Click and underline whatever you need to. There's an underline. Um, to erase it, if you click on it, you can delete it. Click on it, delete it. Okay. You can make a text box and write your answer. So say the answer is, I don't know, 258. I don't think that's the right answer, but there I have my answer. I can move it around. I can drag it to make it the box bigger. I can delete it, all right? I can even write an equation. So I can click here, got my text box, I can say five, change my font size, you want it to be bigger, right here and change it, I'm gonna change it to 18, make it bigger. So I have five, insert a symbol, times 10, insert a symbol, equals and click off of it 50 and there you have that you can draw on this guys so if I need to it's gonna be looking kind of funny because I'm using my mouse but I can write 432 so for those of you that have touch screens this should work with your touch screens I can erase that Okay, there's a lot of different things that you can do in here that's hopefully will make it easier for you. So I'm going to do just a couple of things on here um, so that you can, whenever you turn it in, um, make sure that you have completely 
answered everything you need to. Okay, so I'm done. And I'm going to come up here to the right hand side that says turn in. I'm going to click because if you look, it's saved, but always click. If you click save, it's going to say, hey, are you ready to save this? And you can save it now. Just one more time to make sure you've got all your work saved. And then you're going to click turn in. And it's going to load and it's saving to your Google Drive. So you want to make sure if you've got more than a couple of you guys are sharing devices, make sure it's on your account. So I'm going to choose her account. And it says turn in your work. One attachment will be submitted for distance learning day one, multiplying by two digits review. And it's got your assignment and you click turn in. Now you've turned it in. You can unsubmit if you make a mistake. When I click on this on my side, look, it's saved right there. It's all right there for you. So there's a couple different things that you can do. You can decide how you want to answer it. This should make it easier for you to turn in assignments. Um, you just really need to make sure that you go and you install Kami through your Google Chrome apps. You have to be in Google Chrome. Let me know if y'all have any questions. I hope this helps.